What up guys, it's Grumpy Jeff here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are on day five of the No Fear free to play campaign, getting our day five rewards. So we got our shield, probably gonna get a lot of uh, sales attempts here in a second. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking, woo. All right, wow, All right, that one okay. <laughs> Sold, small pack. All right, looks like we got a mystery shard, which is whatever. Don't care. Stop. All right, so we did some grinding off camera yesterday, which is what we're going to do most days. We got a ton of missions done here. So, well, not a ton, but there we go. The one mission done. <laughs> got a challenge done as well. So we'll go ahead and claim a lot of that stuff. As you can see, with the nice high rank and kale we can kind of just burn through a whole bunch of stuff so we'll get a bunch of rewards here get that book in finished out some dungeon stuff spider's gonna be a tough one until we build out a, a full team some arena stuff starting to build our bank account which is super teeny tiny go ahead and buy that shard all right Go over here, and we got a void, which is super nice. Go ahead and pull uh, 10 shards here. Let's see if we can't get ourselves something. Nothing out of that. We'll have to go uh, probably expand our vault today. That's probably a big deal. Just do it right now. So we'll do 10. All right, got that guy. Hit that button, expand the bulk. Don't have the silver. All right, fair enough, you win. But here we are, we're gonna start this right off. Do we do this at the beginning? Yeah, we do it at the beginning. Boom, let's pull this void. Let's see what we get. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, 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 at the line. There we go, now we have enough. Do it, do it. Boom, ah, rare of course. <laughs> Painsmith, of course I get a Painsmith. Oh, with how much crap I give Painsmith, that that feels about right. Oh well, that's food. I don't care. All right, so there we go. That's what you get when you make fun of Painsmith. Lesson learned. Let's go to our champions. We got our kale all the way up to level four, so we are looking to eat some champions. Let's see if we can't do that right now. Let's go ahead and tavern up some people. Oh, we got potions. That'll be good. Oh man, I am just all over the place. Let's go, where can I get some silver? Where can I get silver? Oh, that's right, we crushed normal. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, getting all those rewards. We are just stuck on this guy, the final level here. Just stuck. Um, which won't last too long, cause you know, we'll level up our champions and uh, hopefully we'll get enough to level up our Kale and then we can just keep pushing him harder and harder and harder, which will be great. So go to the tavern again. Get her all leveled up. Boom, upgrade rank. Boom, diddy, boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right. Boom, boom. Yeah, get in there. What am I doing? Oh yeah. Done. Level four. Don't care. So now we got two foods. We need a couple more. All right. Upgrade level. Probably not gonna be able to do it today, but that's fine. All right. There we are. Upgrade rank. So what do we got here? We got two level threes. Two level threes. Yeah, so it'll be a bit, I think, even with like just playing as hard as we can right now. But you know what? We'll use our little time here to upgrade her a little bit. I'm not gonna waste my potions. She sucks. And you notice this says uh, remove and sacrifice. Well, to get one of the missions done, we had to lay a decreased defense on uh, the force keep dungeon guy whatever his name is so that's what we did so we'll go ahead and remove that shit and sacrifice him stuff remove that stuff and sacrifice him foul language jeffrey foul foul language i apologize oh, just made that level three what are you doing man i will eat some potions because i need her up there boom 
I'm not gonna waste books on you because I'm gonna urine me food. I'll waste all my books on Kale. This ought to hopefully push us through. Boom. Cross the board. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big time winner on that one. Just slamming it home. So let's go actually and see if we can't do that real quick on a run. We want to do that. We're going to jump over to, uh, let's go to normal or up to hard. Do hard. We'll throw in our two there and we'll grind a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit here on camera. And uh, the idea is just get War Priest kind of uh, leveled up and whatnot. Shouldn't be too hard to get her leveled up now that we have a little bit more XP coming into the tank. Um, and we got enough on her so she's not going to get killed instantly and screw up our uh, collection of stars. <clears throat> I figure two level 40 should be able to finish out normal. Maybe we can get a ancient shard as well along the way here. Some more gems, two energy, which is who cares. Two energy per day allowed in maximum vault. Boom, boom, boom. Getting easy. Getting easy. See, the whole point with this whole thing is to not be attached. You can't be attached to any of these champions whatsoever. You know? And that's why I picked Kale. Kale is a solid end game champion. You can use him throughout, especially free to play. So, there you have it. That's our rationale. I'll sell all this stuff off screen. You don't have to watch me sell everything every time. We're just going to push through this one level, see what we get. Hopefully, we get her high enough. Obviously, she's not ranking up too much here, splitting the XP with Kale. It's like tennis, you know. Dun, dun. Or I guess I need to pair it right, right? Uh, 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 looking back and forth. Just crushing those stars, though. Crushing those stars. Yeah, I'm a huge advocate of just always building a two-person team to do campaign. Don't I mean, I know it's the worst use of XP. You want to have three people you're leveling up all the time. But the truth is, then you're going to go back and use energy again and again and again. So it's just like, why not just build a team, get through them. I mean, you don't really want to come back to normal or hard ever. There's no point except to maybe get your uh, three boss kills a day that you're required, you know, for your dailies. That's the only time you drop down, really. And even then, you don't have to. You can go, you know, harvest uh, speed gear. You can go harvest, you know, lifesteal or whatever it is you want to pick up on the bosses there because that's your best chance to get a rare piece. Or only chance, I think, from campaign. Or you can harvest the boss um, at the very end. Brutal. What's his name? The big demon guy on level 12. 12-7. 12, if you just harvest the boss there, you can actually get rings. Um, banners. I think you can get banners on Brutal. I know you can get rings, which sell for a lot more than anything else. Although the odds aren't really with you. But I just never like to run the boss battles for the daily requirement because it just I, sometimes they take long or I'm busy doing something I like coming down to normal going normal you know one seven and just I don't know I think I could finish it in under a minute so it's not like that big of a deal there we go so we're pushing our way through this stuff just super easy with all those books and you know fully ascended at his level 40 level he can just crush through most of this stuff it's that negative affinity that really starts to come and bite him and I don't think we have them fully critted out. We did do a gear swap um, yesterday. We put in Cruel Gear for his uh, Divine Offensive Gear. A little swap out. Level 4 stuff. So, like that ignore 5% defense buff on top of his uh, lifesteal. Give him a little more help with his hit, especially because uh, we have the occasional misfire. Because I think we're at like 60% crit rate or something like that. It's not as high as we'd like it to be. All right, we're done with that. Actually, we're not. Jump back into normal. We'll give it a shot real quick here. See if we can't run through with what we got. Might have to take it off auto for a second just to make sure they don't waste moves. You're toast. 
Boom. Oh, freeze. Yeah. Whatever. Alright, so we got all this. Let's see if he can one-shot some of them this time. Nope, not quite. Ow, oh, that's just bad luck. Nasty bad luck right there. Oh, and he gets to go again. The double knockout was rough. Double knockout. Pretty rough. Alright, so we got... This should get most of our health back. Damn it. And that's what happens. There's no point. We'll give it one last shot here because the double knockout really screwed everything up. If not, we'll have to level up the War Priest a little bit more and just kind of do it that way, which is fine. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Again, nobody. Double knockout, come on, man, that's just ridiculous. That is utterly ridiculous. Gonna hit me, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and waste our heal here. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so we should get all of our health back out of this guy. No defense down, which is huge. Alright, kill you, because I think that, yep, that takes you out. Increase attack. Big boom. All right. Can't freeze a boss. Oh, this is scary levels now. Yep. Darn it. Almost there. Almost there. All right. Good offers when you don't pay money, you know. Really sweet offers. You gotta love that. The second you start buying, that's when they just ramp everything up time after time boom 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 get our reward here with some brews that's good all right let's see if we can pull some more shards here maybe we get lucky maybe at some point we should get a, <clears throat> a rare not today not today all right <laughs> you know what let's go true no fear true no fear here let's just use our potions on her what's the point in saving this stuff you know you never know if we'll get another champ let's just throw everything we can at her There we go. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Got a ton of stuff. Got all that done. I'm going to pause it for a second so I can do a little more uh, tweaking on her and then we'll get back at it. All right. So what we did is we just worked on it a little bit, went in the campaign real quick, like swapped out two pieces. So she lost her shield, but we upped her speed by almost 12. So hopefully she'll go a little bit quicker. I don't. Ooh, we do have a ring. Uh... This one's better. We'll just go ahead and throw that one on there and give it one more run. We also managed to finish our weekly. So we got that in. Now we have a sake or a ancient shard. We'll go ahead and open that at the end of the video here. We're going to try one more time here to push through on normal to finish out the campaign and get our void shard that we deserve. Oops, right here in the hallowed halls. Give it one more shot here. If not, we'll just go ahead and open that ancient and see if we can't uh, get our, our kale leveled up and then we'll go from there. Oops. Because I was wondering if maybe maybe she's just a touch faster. Obviously, she's a touch stronger now. You know, get her turn cycling a little bit harder. Um, could end up saving Kale's uh, took us there at the end. Because now she gets to wipe one of these guys out rather than them getting to go. So, yeah. We get a little bit there. No complaints out of that. They'll both go before that. So, we'll just take out you and you can take out them. All right, so I'm hoping this will be enough to really kind of make the difference because we got real close last time. Uh, yeah, let's just... Oh, come on. That's nasty. That was nasty mean. All right, boom. Hit you with the poison. That's good. Heal you up a little bit. If it's enough, still could get wiped. Oh, that is... 
saucy. Let's see if this does enough. Oh, oh, I think we got it. Boom. Boom. Did it. Click out of that. Collect our void. So now we have our second void shard. We already ate our first void champion because screw that guy. All right, let's go ahead and open our ancient. Oh, I need silver. Let me pause and get some silver. Be right back. All right, I got enough silver. We'll open the ancient here. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we can't get an epic or something tasty out of this. Nope, just regular old, regular old. Ugh, Wagon Bane. I wanted you to be cool. I really wanted you to be cool. Yeah, heal. He might be better. Decrease defense. 6%. Buff it up there so I can go there. It's not bad. Probably better than the War Priest. So I might actually swap him out, but we'll see what happens there. We got this Void Shard. Let's crack it open. See what's inside the sweet treat of this egg. Ooh, actually this range marker, I'm not mad. Not mad. We got some poison, which is nice for clan boss in a second here. Attacks all enemies two times, poisoning everybody. And then we also have HP burn. So he might be our new dude with his aura of attack and campaign battles. Yeah, so I think that's our new dude. We're definitely going to keep him. Um, we're going to swap out... Uh, War made our war priest or whatever. We also have 500 gems. So we're gonna go ahead and finally unlock our mine there. So we're gonna start getting our stuff. And that is our gem goal. So just unlock that all the way. And then we'll just dump our gems most likely into either masteries or we'll dump them into just summoning because we need more champions. We need more fresh blood. Let's go look at our champions right now. See what we can do. Level four, level four. Gonna make him a level four. Gonna make one of these two a level four. And then we are gonna eat. So... That is what we'll be doing tomorrow. I will be leveling these guys up today, and tomorrow we'll be making Kale a level 5. Thank you so much for watching. This has been episode 5 of the No Fear Free to Play campaign. I hope you like what we're doing here, and uh, I will see you all tomorrow.